and today we're going to be working on our rustic farmhouse plaid stocking so this is the same faux plaid pattern I've used in our Christmas ornaments and our big throw it's really simple there's no carrying yarn involved and it's bulky made with bulky yarn so it's really quick to work up so I've pre-rolled off some balls here I'm using Bernat softy chunky and it's a super bulky weight number six yarn. So here I have 50 grams of black, which is about half a ball, 50 grams of white and 100 grams of our Heather Gray. You'll also be using a nine millimeter crochet hook and you'll need a needle for bulky yarn that has a large head on it and some scissors. And I've just used some twine, but you can use some rope or really whatever. You can even crochet a little um, piece to hook on. But just to tie in with my farmhouse collection, I've just added some twine. You'll slide your hook through all of the loops on your finger. Grab the first and pull it through. And now we'll chain two. Yarn over and work 10 double crochet in the ring. There's one, two, yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I do have a video tutorial on how to double crochet. So if you're unfamiliar with the stitch, you could watch that video. As this video will assume that you know how to double crochet. So you'll want to make 10 double crochet in that ring. Okay, so I've worked 10 double crochet. So now to pull your ring tight, you just want to move your work aside so you can see these loops. Now take your tail, start to pull. Now it's pulled this loop in and it hasn't pulled the other loop in. So grab the loop that it started to pull, pull it, and then just take your tail and it will pull that other loop in. So now we'll slip stitch to the top of the first, in the top of the first double crochet to join. And now we'll chain two and work two double crochet in the first stitch. And then we'll work two double crochet in the next stitch. And just continue to work two double crochet into each stitch around. So you'll increase this round to 20 stitches. And right now I'm not counting this chain as a stitch, so you're just counting your double crochets. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. So I have 20 double crochet stitches, and now I'll slip stitch to the top, in the top of the first double crochet to join. And we'll chain two. Now we'll work one double crochet in the first stitch and then we'll work two double crochet in the next. So this is our repeat pattern. One double crochet in the next stitch. and two double crochet in the next stitch. 
And if you want to follow along with the PDF pattern, that will be available for purchase in my Ravelry and Etsy shops. Okay. So the repeat pattern is one double crochet in the next and then two double crochet in the next. So you just continue with this all the way around and you'll end with two double crochet. And this round will bring you up to 30 stitches. Okay, so I'm just coming to the very end and we're gonna change color on this last stitch. So I'm gonna work with white next. So instead of yarning over to finish that final double crochet, I'm gonna yarn over with the white and pull through. And now we'll slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet to join. And now we're just dropping off the gray. Okay, we're not cutting. And you can crochet over your white tail if you'd like. So now we're gonna chain three. And our chain three will count as a double crochet throughout the pattern. So when we're counting this as a double crochet, we don't work into the first stitch because that's the stitch that goes with this and then we'll work into the next. Double crochet in the next. And double crochet in the next. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. We'll skip over the next three stitches. One, two, three. And work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, skip the next three, one, two, three, and work one double crochet in each of the next three. So we just repeat this pattern all the way around and we're going to end with the chain three. So I'm just going to continue with my pattern and I'll meet you up on the other side. Okay, so I'm coming to the end here. So we need to chain three, but we're also going to change color. So we'll chain two, one, two. And now we're going to change to black. So instead of pulling over and chaining that third chain, we pull through with the black yarn. And then to join, you'll slip stitch in the top of the chain three, one, two, in the third chain, push through. You can see there's two um, pieces there, so that just makes it a bit more secure. So now pull through, and now this is all a bit loose, so just tug your tails. So now we drop off the white and now we're working with the black. So now we'll chain three. One, two, three. But now we're skipping over the three double crochet down and we're gonna work into these skipped stitches two rows below. So we'll do a double crochet going over the chain into the first skip stitch, another double crochet into the next, and a double crochet into the next. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And that will get us across the next three double crochet and then we'll work down into these skipped stitches. So work one double crochet in each of the next three skip stitches two rows below. So now we repeat this all the way around and this time we're going to end with our three double crochet. Okay so here we are to our last three double crochet 
And on the third double crochet, we're changing back to our gray yarn. So pull through two. Now we'll drop off the black, picking back up the gray and pull through. And now we'll slip stitch into the first one, two. The first chain to join. And now we'll chain three. One, two, three. And we'll work a double crochet into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the next skip stitch there. chain three, one, two, three, and then we'll work one double crochet in each of these next three skipped stitches. One, two, three, and chain three. So we'll just continue to repeat this all the way around and then we'll be changing back to white. Okay, so this time we're ending with a chain three. So that means we chain two and on the third chain, we need to pull through with the white. Make sure we're not getting all twisted. And then we slip stitch in the top of the chain three, the third chain of the chain three, and we're joined up again. And then just make sure everything's pulled. And then we're chaining three, one, two, three, and we're skipping over those double crochets and we're working down into these skipped. And we just keep repeating this until we have, let's count these out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows or rounds before we work the opening for our heel. So I'm going to continue working these rounds off camera. So we're going white, black, gray, white, black, gray, and we're ending here um, with black. Okay, so I'm finishing up my eighth <clears throat> round. And on that final double crochet, we're going to change back to the gray. And we'll slip stitch into that first chain of the chain three. <clears throat> okay, so our ninth round will be our heel opening round. Okay, so we've worked this much here and now we want to make an opening to make our heel. Now what I like to do is make the opening and then come back and crochet on the heel later. There's lots of different methods for doing heels. This is just the method I've chosen to use. So let's chain three and work one double crochet in each of the next two. Chain three, one, two, three. Skipping over the next, work one double crochet into each of the next three skip stitches. And chain three. And then we'll work a double crochet in each of the next three. So then we'll have 15 stitches made, which is half of the round. 
And then to make our opening, we're gonna chain. So we're gonna chain 15, but on the 15th, we actually need to change color. So I'll chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're coming around and we're gonna join. So this is now our opening for our heel right here. And we're changing to white. So our 15th chain is actually pulled through with the white yarn. So pull that through and then we're gonna slip stitch in the top of the chain three. And now we'll chain three. And we're gonna continue with our pattern. So work one double crochet into each of the next three skip stitches. And chain three, skip over the three double crochet, work one double crochet into each of the next three skip stitches. Chain three, one, two, three. So now we're skipping over these skip stitches and then we're getting to our chains here. So we're gonna continue with the pattern, just working now into the chains. So work one double crochet into each of the next three chains. Chain three. Skip three chains, one, two, three. one double crochet in each of the next three chains. Chain three. One, two, three, and one double crochet into each of the last three chains. And now remember on our final double crochet here, we'll wanna change to the black. Dropping off the white. through with the black and then we slip stitch into the first chain of the chain three to join and then we chain three now we work one double crochet to each of the next two and now we're just going to continue working around in our pattern so now we're working the upper part of our stocking. So we're gonna work this section now and we come back after to work the heel. So we're just working in our rounds and we're gonna have, starting with the white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the black and then 15 if we include the gray. But I'll work through this row here with you. One, two, three, skipping over those double crochets. One, 
one, two, three, skipping over and working into the skip stitches. One, two, three. And so now we're working into those skipped chains. One. And chain three. Over the double crochet into the next three skip chains. chain three and on that third chain we're switching now to our gray yarn pull through and we slip stitch into the top of the chain three the third chain slip stitch and chain three Okay, so now I just want you to continue working. So a total of 14 rounds ending on the black, and then I'll meet you back up for the gray. Okay, so I worked up to my 14th row, so we're ending on black. So I've chained two, and now I'm changing back to the gray. So we're gonna slip stitch in the top of the chain three and then chain three. So now we're done with white and black so you can fasten them off. As you can see we still have some left so if you're making a set of two stockings one ball of each black and white is enough. So now this is round 15 and we're just going to work it the same. So I'm going to finish round 15 and I'll meet you up because our next round's a little bit different. Okay, so I'm just finishing up round 15. I'm gonna put that in here. So now let's slip stitch in the first chain of our chain three. And now we'll chain two. We're gonna work a half double crochet in each of the next two. And now we, we won't skip over our doubles. We'll work single crochets in each double crochet across. So one single crochet in each of the next three, and then we'll work half double crochet stitches down into our skipped stitches. So our half double crochet is yarn over, going through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. Our single crochet, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Go through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So what this is doing, it's evening out our row here. Or around. So we'll do half double crochets in all the skip stitches. And single crochets in the double crochets and we're just repeating this all the way around okay so now we'll slip stitch into the second chain of the chain two to join 
and chain two. And now we're gonna half double crochet in every stitch around. And at this point, I'm not gonna include my chain two as a stitch. I'll just work into the first. So I'm just going to continue working half double crochet stitches all the way around. Okay, and now because we're counting, we're not counting the chain two, we'll just slip stitch in the top of the half double crochet and I'll chain two. And now I'm going to turn my work. This is just so that when we flip over, some rows are worked on the right side, some rows are worked on the wrong side. I just like the finished look. So we're going to turn. And we're going to increase as well, just a little bit so it folds over nicely. So we'll crochet one half double crochet in each of the first 14 stitches. There's two. Okay, so I've worked 14 and in the 15th stitch we'll work two half double crochet. And then we'll continue working around and I'll meet you at the last stitch and we'll add two half double crochet in it. So in our last stitch we'll add two. So now we should have 32 stitches slip stitch to join, chain two, and we're turning our work back this way. So now for this round, just crochet one single cro or one half double crochet in every stitch around. And we'll slip stitch in the top to join chain two and we'll turn again and we'll do another increase on this round so this time we'll do the increase in the 16th stitch so we'll do one half double crochet in each of the next 15 stitches so then you'll add two half double crochet into your 16th stitch Okay, two in that stitch and then work all the way around until your last stitch and we'll add two half double crochet again and then we'll have 34 stitches and that's as much as I'm going to increase the cuff just an extra four stitches is just enough here to kind of have it widen oops just have it widen up a little bit so that it folds over nice Okay, so I've slip stitched to join and chain three and now we're just going to do three hang on I'm not sure if I turned I did turn okay so let's just go back around chain two and turn and now we'll just work one half double crochet in every stitch around and we'll do three additional rounds just so we can get our desired length so you should have 34 stitches going around okay so i finished up my final round half double crochet and now we're going to turn chain one and turn so now on the right side for when we flip it over in the final round I kind of want this look here so we're gonna work single crochets in the back loop only okay so here's our first stitch so the front loop is here the back loop is to the back 
So we're just going to go down through the stitch and go through that back loop only. And we'll just work that all the way around. Okay, and now we're just going to slip stitch to join and we'll fasten off. Now I'm just going to fold it over so you can see how that's looking. And now we're going to work on our heel. Okay, so I've put my stocking here. So in the middle here is our three stitches. So we're going to join into that middle double crochet. Now, if you can remember here, we have 15 stitches, we chain 15, and then we have our corners. So we're going to work 32 stitches around. So we'll slip stitch chain one and work one single crochet in that stitch, one single crochet in the next, and now we want it to be even here, so we're going to half double crochet down into the skipped stitches. So one, two, three, and now we'll do a single crochet in each of the next three. Now in the corner, we'll add one. And now we're going across the chain area, so you should have 15 stitches going across. To the other corner, so we'll put one single crochet there. And then continue into these double crochet stitches. There's three. And then we half double crochet down into the skip stitches. And then one single crochet and slip stitch to join. Okay, so now, okay, so now if you have a couple removable stitch markers, this might help you out a little bit. So in those corner stitches, We'll be doing some decreasing. So work one single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the stitch before the stitch marker. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this tog at the corner. Okay, so one more. So now to do the tog, go into the stitch before the marker, pull up a loop. Now we're going to skip over that stitch marker stitch and tog the next one. And now we're going to pull those all together. So now this stitch Put your stitch marker on it and now we'll keep going. So every round we'll skip the stitch marker and tog the ones on either side. And it just gives it a nice mit mitered looking edge.
Okay, so we're coming up to this one. So go through the stitch, pulling up a loop, and now you're skipping over the stitch marker stitch. Okay, so you can pull that out, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and then that stitch that you just made, stick the stitch marker back in and continue to work around. Now we'll slip stitch to join and chain one. Work one single crochet across until we get one stitch before the marker again. So we go in, pull up a loop, skip over the stitch marker stitch, into the next, remove that, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, place the stitch marker back on the stitch, and continue around. Just want to show you kind of how, so this is how it's going to pull in here. So we're just wanting to decrease this heel down small enough to pull it in. through the stitch, pull up a loop. I'll just move the stitch marker out of the way, skipping over that stitch into the next, pulling up a loop, pull through all three, and we'll just add the stitch marker. So just continue working around, decreasing every round as I've shown you. Okay, and to finish off my stocking, I just attached a piece of twine and then I've knotted it to create a loop for hanging. And that's all you really need to do, or you could just add a piece of yarn as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.